Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to put one photo into another photo. And therefore, you can combine multiple photos and make things happen in Photoshop that can't happen in real life. So I've opened up Photoshop. I have a picture here um, that I took, and now it's on my desktop. I'm just going to drag and drop it. So this is a picture of me. Let's zoom in a little bit. Just taking my fingers on the trackpad and zooming in. Um, next, I want to open up two different pictures. Um, one's going to go in this hand, and the other one's going to go in this hand. Okay. Um, before I do, let's just go to Image, Adjustments. Uh, let's brighten up the picture a little bit. So my face is kind of dark. Let's do a little bit less contrast. Okay. So now to open up the other picture, I'm going to go to File, Open. And I have a picture of a T-Rex. Now I'm going to take this picture and copy it into this picture. So you see I've got this picture open and I've got this picture open. They're two different pictures. So let's go to the um, lasso tool. And I just click and hold down my mouse while I just circle it, making sure to get all the edges and then some. When it, turn, when it turns into the marching ants, you're going to go to Edit, Copy. Click back on this photo, edit, paste. Now, you can see that I have two different layers, okay? Let's unlock this layer. So here's this layer off, now I can see it. This layer off, now I can see it, okay? Um, let's go ahead and move this T-Rex so we know how to free transform. Let's go to edit, free transform, and, oops, undo because I was on the wrong layer. Um, I need to free transform this layer. Okay, so let's click on the T-Rex layer, edit, free transform. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key so that when I make it smaller, it gets smaller proportionally. Okay, if I don't hold down the shift key, I can do this and I don't want to do that. Okay, hold down the shift key, make it smaller, Start to move it into place, and I think that's big enough. You could make it smaller if you want to. Remember, you can also tilt it if you want to make it look like he's about ready to eat my face. Okay, now we want to click Apply to apply the transformation. We do want to get rid of all this white stuff, okay? So let's zoom in even more. Now, there's lots of ways to do this, but... I'm going to go to this tool, right click, and go to Magic Wand Tool. And when I click on it, it selects everything that's white. It magically selects that. And once I've selected everything that's white, I push Delete, and there we go. Okay. Um, now, to get rid of these marching ants, um, which we're not quite done, there's a little white spot there. So let's. But to get rid of the marching ants, go to Select, Deselect. Okay. Um, I noticed that I missed a spot. Let's go to the magic wand tool, click right there, and delete. Okay, select, deselect. All right, now I want to move just a little bit more. Okay, now let's put something else in the other hand. So I'm going to go to file, open. I have a picture of an artichoke. Okay, going to do the same thing, um, lasso tool. Let's select all of it, and then some. Edit, copy. Go back to this picture, edit, paste. Okay, now you can see I have three different layers. Um, now I do need to make it smaller, obviously. You could replace my head with the artichoke if you'd like. But let's go to edit, free transform. Pull down the shift key so that it transforms proportionately. Pull down the shift key again. Put it right there. Okay, apply the transformation. I'm going to go back to that magic wand tool. Select everything that's white and get rid of it. Okay, select, deselect. Okay, and I can move it a little bit more. Oops. Go to this and let's move it a little bit more into place. Okay, I want to make it look like it's sitting in my hand. 
Okay, so I'm going to need to erase part of my hand because this part of my hand is over the artichoke. So I am going to select the eraser tool and just try to erase part of that artichoke to reveal this part of my hand. Okay, let's see if I need to do any of that. Yep, over here I need to make it look like the palm of my hand is coming up. Oh, so let's select on the T-Rex layer. Make sure you're working on the right layer. There we go. Okay, now, if you look at these pictures, it looks fake because the lighting isn't quite right. Okay, this is a lot brighter, and this is a lot brighter than this. So I could either brighten my face, or I could darken these. Because I want to make sure that all three of these images have the right lighting. Okay, so if we look down here, um, this is the dodge and burn tool. So the dodge tool, oops, make sure I'm on the right layer, is you can see going to make everything that I click on a little bit brighter. So it just gives it a little bit more light. And you can just click on it and kind of do it selectively. You can sweep over the whole thing. Hands a little bit brighter. Okay. Um, I can also um, do the burn tool. Burn makes things a little bit darker. So if I want to add a shadow here, make sure I'm on the artichoke layer, and you can see how that's adding a shadow. So if I want to give this some of the similar lighting that this has, I can add shadows and burn the light a little bit more just by clicking on it. And now let's click on the T-Rex layer and do that a little bit too. Okay, now it's not quite so bright. Go back to the artichoke layer. Okay. Um, also, you can do fun things um, on the artichoke layer if you want to, like go to image, adjustments. You can go to hue and saturation and completely change the color of the artichoke. That's kind of a fun color. You can change the saturation. And over here on the T-Rex, we could do the same thing. You can play with any one of those and make it a completely different color. Okay. Um, also, if you want to erase the background, you're going to do the same thing. Um, we could cut out myself and paste it into an island. Um, you could do fun things like uh, free transforming. Let's see, we can go to edit, puppet warp. So remember how that is um, kind of fun. You push down the option button and you can put a pin in something and then you can warp it based on that pin and it will stretch it. The pin kind of holds it in place. Okay. And let's click apply. Um, you could do the same thing over there. What I would recommend doing is playing with some of these things and um, just seeing what it does.